So I'm here at this metal plant. You can see the absolute devastation. It's unbelievable. Bombs are incredibly powerful. That's the boss that crushed a car. Look at that crater, huh? Yeah, you can see uh, it's crazy that's behind me. Unbelievable. Holy shit, this is an American Hummer, yeah? So this is what once stood of an American Humvee right here. Once, once. So probably taken out by this shell over here, who knows. But uh, yeah, burned to the ground. You can see these are all Ukrainian military vehicles. You can tell because of the black plates. I have a German here, <laughs> uh, at least one. Um, Thomas, can you say what it says? Can you? Uh... Yes, misanthropic division, and there's written "killing for water" for the German engine god. Uh huh. And do you know what these are? I don't know. But well, this is an SS symbol. Yeah, killing for water. Uh, it's an SS symbol? Yeah. And uh, this was occupied by the Ukrainian military here. So I'll tell you what's most interesting about this place, right? Um, it's clearly funded by the United States military. Okay, the United States government. It's clearly a very radical group of fundamentalists, Azov Battalion, uh, some neo-Nazi battalion, judging from all the symbolism that you see where they were living, all right? And the other thing that's clear is they ditch their uniforms and in places around here, you'll see like civilian jackets. Um, they were changing to blend in with normal people and escape. So, yeah, this is their, uh, this is their tactic and uh, the U.S. is funding a very dangerous, radical group of uh, individuals. A very, um, you know, I, I don't understand. I don't understand how the people of the West can accept the fact that their government is actually funding Nazis. And this is not speculation. We see the the Javelin missile system, we see all the US ammo, we see the, the Hummy, Humvee, right? And we see all the Nazi paraphernalia inside. Um, guys, what the